In Isaiah chapter 46 and 47, we see the description of the fall of Babylon and the deliverance of the Israelites. In previous chapters, Isaiah had introduced King Cyrus the Great of Persia, who would actually go on to conquer Babylon in 539 BC and issued a decree allowing the Jews to return to Jerusalem. Cyrus was God's instrument to deliver Israel from Babylonian oppression. But the promised Messiah would come later to deliver all of humankind from the captivity of sin. In Isaiah 42, the coming Messiah was referred to as the light to the Gentiles, so that those nations that face judgment would also find salvation. And here in chapter 46, Isaiah lays out what would become known as the four promises of God. Chapter 46, verse three through four read, Listen to me, you descendants of Jacob, all the remnant of the people of Israel, you who I have upheld since birth and I have carried since you were born. Even to your old age, I am he. I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. Listen to the four promises that God makes to his people in this passage. One, I have made you. He says, two, I will carry you. I will sustain you. And finally, he says, I will rescue you. The following verses, God goes on to qualify his sovereignty by asking who could possibly compare to his authority. In verse 46, chapter 46, verse nine, I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. In these four simple promises from God, we see our source of rescue from the wages of our own sin. See, God promises to deliver us, to give us mercy, not the righteous judgment that we deserve. God made us. We are made in His perfect image and we are His. We should not lose sight of whose we are. God promises to carry us. We may go through difficult seasons of our life and different circumstances, but God will see us through. God promises to sustain us. He will provide all that we need in life. And finally, God promises to rescue us from our captivity and sin just like he delivered the Israelites from Babylon. See, reading about the history of the plight of God's people is a great reminder that God's promises are true. And what has been prophesied will come to pass.